Pase Tut Moon. Um, what's up, everybody? Just in case you didn't get that, that was actually Creole. Um, this is a video response to Wyclef running as president of Haiti. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure by now that you've heard that Wyclef has, I guess, semi-officially declared, well, he has declared that he intends to run. I don't know if it, all of his paperwork went through, but he has actually said officially that he's running. Now, you have people on both sides of the argument giving their opinions. You have those who actually, who absolutely hate Wyclef and think that he'll, you know, do the worst job possible. And then you have those who just simply love Wyclef. Well, this is where I'm going to try and be as neutral and as unbiased as possible. Okay, so the first, the first thing that I want all of us to remember each and every one of us, whether Haitian or foreign or whoever you are, if you're interested in the politics of Haiti, you have to remember this. We have to keep in mind what is best for Haiti and for Haitians living in Haiti. It's not about what you want. It's not what about. It's not about what I want. It's what is in the best interest of Haiti as a country, as a nation, and as a people. So that is the first thing that we need to remember. Okay, so we got that out of the way. We need to keep Haiti's interests at heart. Whether it doesn't agree with our opinion, but as long as it's for the betterment of the people of Haiti, you know, I'm all for that. Okay, so now on to the White Club story. <sighs> okay, let's see how I can do this. Um, if you are pro-White Club, here are three things that I want you to think about. One, if White Club was not a musician if he had done everything else that he's done before but he was not a musician he was not a celebrity would you still support Wyclef in his presidential bid okay um, and the reason why I'm asking that is because a lot of us are simply following Wyclef because of who he is a celebrity um, yes he has done a lot for Haiti he has done a lot he's been the face of Haiti from you know whenever but at the end of the day, is he able, is he capable of actually running a broken country? Haiti is broken. Haiti is torn in so many pieces. And it's going to take more than just a celebrity, more than just a face to fix the country. So that's part one. Part two is, um, there's a lot of scandals and controversy surrounding Wyclef right now. The tax, um, his personal tax thing, I'm not familiar with US, the U.S. tax system. Um, Yele Haiti, the funds from that before the earthquake, um, the funds after the earthquake, um, him cheating on his wife with his assistant and all of that. I mean, do we really want to put a man as president who has all these scandals following him? If we want to give him a chance, if we're going to support him, then we might as well support Rene Sefor. I think his name is the guy from Montreal who was disbarred and is into money laundering and all that stuff. You know, because basically they're in the same category. And then thirdly, you might as well put Mickey, Sweet Mickey in there because he's just another face. So, if, you know, with all the scandals, would you still support Wyclef? Because I think the world would look at on Haiti right now and say, oh, well, that was smart. They knew that the guy had tax problems and he had this problem and he had that problem, but they still voted in, voted him in. So whatever happens, it's their fault. Okay, the third point is, I know that a lot of people may say that experience is not necessary, but to me, Haiti is not just another country. Haiti is actually Haiti. Where you have the poor, the really, really poor people, the really, really rich people, students who are going to school but not able to find, to, to find a job afterwards. You have immigrants, you have refugees, you have um, the rice, the, the, the rice fields in the Latibonit area that's just about gone. You have human trafficking, you have drug trafficking, you have um, 
child, the, the children, the kidnapping of the children after the earthquake. You have the homeless from the earthquake. You have the rebuilding projects that you have to focus on. You have the funds that you have to focus on. You have the airports that needs to be upgraded. You need roads that need to be completed. Oh, not to, not to forget um, diplomatic relationships with countries such as the Bahamas, U.S., Cuba, the Dominican Republic, China. You have the U.N. that you need to focus on. You have, so basically, he will have the world to deal with. And if you're trying to tell me that experience is not needed for him to deal with all of those things, plus criticism, plus showing a good face for Haiti, plus selecting ministers, um, the constitution, um, the laws that needs to be put in place, the laws that needs to be taken out, signing treaties, signing memorandum of understanding with other countries. That, that, I don't know. I am not so sure about that. He, if, he, if he doesn't have the experience to deal with that, then you better tell me what he needs to actually deal with that. Oh, not to forget um, the supporters of RSC. He'll, he'll have to get on that. He'll also have to get with former workers who have not been paid since RSD left. So you have all of those people who are disgruntled. You have the market woman. You just have the world pissed off at you. And you're telling me that he does not need experience to become president of Haiti? Uh, that one? Not so much. Now, Wyclef, I love him. I Five years ago, five years ago, I would have supported him. I would have supported him um, as president, but today, not so much. Um, the other thing, okay, here is what I was thinking. I was thinking that he should have actually run for mayor, no, not mayor, senator. I think it's senator or deputy, deputy or whatever it is. I think he should have run for one of those posts, worked his way up, and then next election, then I think would have been better to do than to simply go, like, just dive into it right now, head on. So, hey, everybody's giving their opinion, and I'm giving my opinion too. So, that's my five cents on that. Let me know what you think. Peace, guys. Bye.